It's been five years since Ashrao was murdered. Phil Waters, one of the original detectives on the case, now retired, says there are two people they haven't been able to completely clear. Ash's brother-in-law, Brian Lamb, and Ash's wife, Leslie. You find that odd? I do. I don't think she'll give you a full-on interview. But in this Crime Watch Daily exclusive, Leslie Rao agrees to sit down and talk for the first time. And in the presence of her attorney, Paul Nugent, tells us her story, starting with their relationship. Ash was, he was a loving and sweet and fun man, generous with his, his time and his, his love and attention for our children and, and for, for us. Leslie then takes us through that horrific night. I was, you know, playing with the kids and I heard the gunshot, but, you know, it just doesn't register. So I then said, um, called out his name, and that's when I, I saw him staggering towards me um, in the dining room, clutching his, his chest. That, when he said, they got me, I'm dead. And then he collapsed, literally, in my arms. I just was hysterical, and I called our son to, to go get help. And he ran up, and he had to see his father. But he was so brave, he, he went next door and got our friend. We asked Leslie who she thinks Ash was referring to when he said, they got me. Remember that night she told Houston police detectives she knew exactly who they were? They means Brian and Rick. And my, Brian and Rick are? My brothers, my older brothers. Okay. But now Leslie's less sure. No idea. Why does Leslie seem to change her story? We ask her another question about her brother Brian Lamb's alleged threats against Ash. Before answering, she turns to her attorney. This is where I feel nervous. Leslie and Nugent need a moment to talk off camera. They ask us to stop rolling, so we do. When the interview resumes, we ask Leslie again, reminding her she had already discussed the threats in the taped interview with Houston PD. This time, she answers. I think it was kind of common knowledge that Brian did not like Charlotte and Ash and felt very angry and, and would threaten them. So does Leslie believe her brother is capable of murdering her husband? I can't speculate on someone's capabilities. I can't fathom that he would do this to my children, to his own nephew and nieces. So you don't believe that. But then again, he was openly threatening. And for anyone who may be suspicious of Leslie, she tells us she has cooperated with police over the years. We also asked if she has any knowledge of anything having to do with her husband's murder. No. None. Her attorney, Paul Nugent, says he believes Houston PD looked at Leslie as a suspect merely as a matter of protocol. Everyone was a suspect at the time. Anyone who spends five minutes with Leslie knows she's not a suspect. This was a grieving widow. This was a grieving mom. She's not a suspect. It's been five years since Ash's murder. Why is Leslie talking now to Crime Watch Daily? Leslie wouldn't be participating in this if, if she didn't respect the show. And it has been successful. It has caught criminals who needed catching. It's exposed people to justice who need justice in the community so so crime watch daily is important uh, this is a national show uh, there may be someone sitting in a bar in cleveland who knows somebody who's from la who got hired to do the hit in houston five years ago and that's how murders get solved leslie needs an answer her children need an answer i look forward to the day that they find out who did this we miss him. We miss, we miss him. Since our interview with Leslie, a lot has transpired. According to Paul Nugent, Leslie has since taken an independent polygraph test, and he tells us she passed. 
Nugent also says Detective Phil Waters told him he now believes Leslie is no longer a suspect in Ash's murder. And in regards to Charlotte's claim that Leslie knows more than she's saying, Nugent says, in part, Charlotte's accusation is irresponsible, mean-spirited, and not supported by any facts. We reached out to the Houston PD, wanting to talk with the detectives currently working the cold but open case. They got back to us with the statement which read, in part, Given the fact that they are at a sensitive point in this investigation, the Houston police declined to do the interview because they don't want any additional details going out. We also reached out to Brian Lamb for an interview, but through his attorney, Philip Rackison, he declined. We asked Rackison about Lamb's lawsuit and the death of Ash Rao, and he responded with, The matter was voluntarily settled. Beyond that, we have no comment. Ash Rao's friends and family honor him every day while they wait and pray that justice will one day come. What's it like when you pass this tank every day? Honestly, dude, it makes me sad. It does. I, I look, what a waste. What an absolute, total waste of a beautiful human life. What do you miss most about Ash? I miss Ash's smile, his laugh, and his big teddy bear hugs. He had the best hugs in the world. Yeah. Good guy. The best. What's your message to the individuals responsible for Ash's murder? My message to those people, and I know there's more than one person involved in this, is I know who you are. You know who you are. And there's going to be hell to pay. That's my message. <laughs> Anyone with information is urged to call Houston Crime Stoppers anonymous tip line at 1-713-222-TIPS. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching. <laughs>